Chris with RC Worst here and today we're making a quick video to show you the proper way to fit PVC fittings together using PVC primer and PVC cement. Now commonly people will refer to PVC cement as glue. In reality it's more of a cement because what it actually does is fuses the pipes together when applied properly. Whereas a glue simply sticks two things together with the glue in between. So there's a critical difference and the primer is the key ingredient when doing PVC connections to ensure that you soften the plastic before you apply the, the cement or the glue as it's commonly called um, so that you get a good strong bind between the two surfaces. So I just wanted to show you guys real quickly kind of how to make a quick connection. Um, so we have the purple PVC primer. This is uh, industry standard in most applications for a lot of our internal assemblies here at RC Wears. We use the clear primer for a cleaner look, but when you're out in the field or you're doing work uh, inside of a home or a commercial business, uh, a lot of times the plumbing code is going to require purple primer. So we're going to go ahead and use that today because it's easier to visually see. Um, and it, so it has some benefits for inspectors and people on the job site for being able to easily identify if the connections were properly primed before they were glued. So we'll jump right into that. and. Um, one thing I want to note is that the instructions for how to do this is on the can and um, before I actually get started there is uh, multiple different types of glue and a few different types of primer out there um, so make sure that the glue you're using is specific for the material type that you're going to use they've got PVC glues for hoses and uh, various types of compounds of PVC and poly and ABS uh, so be aware of what glue you're using and make sure that the material that you've uh, that you're planning on using it on or the cement that you're using it on um, is noted on the front here uh, in addition to that all the steps that we're going to kind of outline should be reiterated on the back of the label of the instructions so you can ensure that you're doing everything properly and uh, per the manufacturer's recommendation so when it comes to uh, applying your primer and your glue I, I like to keep a nice clean work area so I use uh, a paper towel here to kind of just keep things cleaned up and with the primer it's actually really important that you uh, really primer your surfaces and make sure you clean your surfaces. If you're out in the field, mud or dirt or anything like that, you wipe it down with a paper towel. I've gone ahead and pre-wiped down both of these fittings. Uh, and you wanna go around with the primer a minimum of 10 times inside of the uh, inside of the fitting. You just kinda wanna go around and around and around. And that kinda helps to ensure good contact time and that all the PVC is evenly coated. So it's gonna soften up and get a good, strong, tight, seal all the way around. And another important thing that, that oftentimes is overlooked in the field is the, the bevel that you apply to the PVC uh, fitting that's going into the other fitting. Uh, and so you need to have at least a 10 degree bevel. It's easiest to do this on like a wheel grinder, but if you're out in the field and you're in a pinch, you can always just pull out your pocket knife uh, or a razor knife and just uh, kind of shave away at that. It just kind of takes a little bit longer. So if you're going to be doing it, uh, you know, doing a lot of different connections, it's probably best to use a wheel grinder or a hand grinder or something along those lines just to make the workflow go a lot faster. What that bevel does is it helps to ensure that the glue is not pushed back into the fitting as you slide this in. And, um, and that process actually kind of helps, uh, helps the glue to stay more evenly coated and kind of has a, a way to get between the two as you insert it. So I've got these two very well primed here. As I've been talking, I've been just priming away. Um, so I'll do the inside fitting first. And again, you want to just kind of go around and around a good few times. And then uh, do the other end. And it's important that you do this part really quickly because this glue, when it's exposed, or this cement, when it's exposed to air, um, dries really quickly. You want to insert the fitting all the way and um, do, give it about a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch of rotation. Then you want to hold it firmly for a good 30 seconds to ensure that it stays in there properly uh, and doesn't back out on you. You want to make sure that that thing is seated as far into the fitting as it will go and you just continue to hold it, hold it, hold it. Um, so we'll just wait a few seconds here. And that's been about 30 seconds. Now we just wipe the excess off and, uh, and we're in great shape. 
Now with that purple primer, it usually gets all over the place. That's just kind of standard with that stuff. And in reality, since I used a bell end fitting, which is just the back end of a piece of PVC pipe, it actually inserts quite a ways in there. And I only put my primer out probably the, the depth of a normal fitting. So I probably should have taken that primer and glue out just a little bit farther. But for example's sake and, and know how, that was a good example of, of how to properly fit those two together. Uh, with this particular glue, this is the Weld On 795. It recommends that you wait at least five minutes before handling the pipe, moving it around, anything like that. And then at least 30 minutes before actually pressurizing the pipe. So again, pay attention to the instructions, follow those to ensure that when you do pressurize the system, if you're in a hurry to test things before you get onto other projects or onto other tasks, that you follow that wait uh, time recommendation so you don't have a chance of blowing apart any fittings and that the glue can properly set up uh, for that installation. So hopefully you found this video useful. We appreciate you watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more great content. Your subscription means a lot to us and it really helps us to grow as a channel. So we'll see you next time.